Let's take a look at redox reactions, which is reduction and oxidation. One way of determining if a reaction is a redox reaction is examining the atoms in the reaction and see if they have lost or gained electrons when going from the reactant side to the product side. So in this case, we have aluminum and iron 3, producing aluminum 3 plus and iron. Now, I want to point out that just because there's nothing written around the aluminum as far as charge, what is implied is that there's zero. There's zero charge on the iron and the aluminum. On the iron 3, 3 plus, the charge on this particular iron atom is a positive 3. And the charge on this aluminum atom, aluminum 3 plus, is positive 3. So let's establish our charges. Here we have 0. Here we have positive 3. This is positive 3. And this is 0. Now, to determine if this is a redox reaction, let's examine the atoms and their charges. Well, on the left side here, aluminum is 0. On the right side, aluminum is positive 3. So, what must have occurred for aluminum to become a positive 3? Now remember, a neutral atom, any neutral atom, such as this aluminum atom, has an equal number of electrons and protons. So those charges cancel each other out. What must have occurred for aluminum to become a positive 3? Well, it must have lost 3 electrons become a positive 3. Let's see what happened to iron. Iron went from positive 3 to 0. So it must have gained 3 electrons. It must have gained 3 negative charges to bring it to 0. Here's a problem I'd like you to try. Nickel 2 plus plus chromium 0 gives nickel 0 plus chromium 2 plus. So determine which atom was oxidized and which atom is reduced, or which atom went through oxidation, which atom went through reduction. Pause the video, try it yourself, and come back and I'll provide the answer. So in this case, Nickel gained two electrons, therefore went through a reduction, or we could say it was reduced. Chromium, on the other hand, lost the two electrons. Therefore, it was oxidized, or it went through an oxidation.